All right, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? It is your boy, The Glacier, and today we are here to talk about the best runes for Garen in Season 8. According to my opinion, I've been playing a ton of Garen lately. I have pretty much tried almost every single Keystone, every single playstyle, and so far, Phase Rush, this exact rune setup is going to be the best, in my opinion. It's the most consistent, and it performs the best every single game that I play it. So I'm going to ex briefly explain the runes, and then we're going to jump right into a full game commentary. So if you guys just want to jump into the full game commentary, feel free to skip around and fast forward as you please to see how the runes work. Okay, so let's start out with the Keystone Phase Rush. Phase Rush is going to be like Storm Raider Surge, but 10 times better in my opinion. Um, before Storm Raider Surge, you had to do 30% of their HP in like two seconds to proc it, and that becomes problematic when people start stacking HP and armor and all that stuff. But with Phase Rush, all you have to do with Garen or any top lane champion is hit them three times, whether it be with auto attacks or abilities, it doesn't matter, and you proc it no matter what. You get 15 to 40% movement speed and 75% slow resistance. And as we all know, on someone like Garen or Nasus, someone that really needs that mobility, it's it's unbelievably strong. Ultimate Hat, I really like. Every single time we drop an ultimate, it reduces the cooldown by 5% every single time. And it stacks up to 5 times. So that's pretty unbelievable. Uh, another thing that I like to do if I am against a really like hard matchup top lane, like let's say I'm going against like AP team or Malzahar or something... Uh, you can go nullifying our orb for the uh, magic damage shield. Celerity, I like to grab this because of the extra movement speed and AD based on our bonus movement speed that we get. So when we pop Yomus, we're getting more AD, etc., etc. When we, anytime we proc Phage, we're getting more AD. And I also like to go water walking. Water walking is very useful because if you play Garen how I do, I like to roam mid a lot. I like to take control of Scuttle Crab. I like to invade the jungler. Having more attack damage in the river and more movement speed, again, Garen's an immobile champion. More movement speed, more AD, the better. Okay, now on to the secondaries. I like being able to, st uh, to stack Tenacity on Garen. I think this is a super, super useful keystone. Honestly, um, I don't think anything's better. More Tenacity, more movement speed. You know, we're pretty much just unstoppable, especially when you get fed and you grab Infinity Edge or whatever you end up building. And then here's where things get pretty interesting. So Coupe de Grasse is probably my favorite thing. You know, you deal more damage. You deal specifically 10% more damage to uh, enemies that are below 40% HP. So that means every time we go for an ultimate, we're doing 10% more true damage or magic damage to our opponents. So I would say I would run this about 99% of the time unless you are in like certain situations where you're going to go against an HP stacker like... Uh, let's say Tom Kench or Orn, someone that's just immediately going to stack armor and HP right off the bat, then cut down is pretty damn good. And yeah, so those are going to be the runes. Guys, let's jump right into the full game commentary. Okay, guys, we are in the top lane right now. I decided to take Ignite like I pretty much always do. Um, I feel like taking Teleport on Garen is pretty damn useless just because we have we have no crowd control, so it's, it's really difficult to make full use of it, so... Okay, he went Doran Shield. Honestly, I'm my plan here is I'm just going to play real safe. Shen is actually an insanely difficult matchup for me. He's got his triple auto attacks, Grasp of the Undying, super tanky. So we're just going to let him push. I mean, they have a Lee Sin too. Yeah, I don't want to let him proc that. Story. Yeah, no thanks. No thanks, Shen. You can do whatever you want. This is good, though. This is pushing right into me. He's got six farm. Nice. Yeah, against a Lee Sin or a Shaco or an Evelyn or any high pressure jungler, you just you really gotta play safe. Okay. Uh, I gotta let those go. <clears throat> I don't think it's worth. Plus, I should be able to get these. What the hell? Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Like, oh, <laughs> what the fuck was that? That's crazy. Crazy how much uh, damage Shen does now with his new like uh, auto attacking passive. It's crazy. It's all good, though. We'll beat him later. Don't have to use any health potions. Okay. Yeah, we're good. Just focus on farming here. He can't touch us. Focus on this. If he wants to take a tower shot, I'm cool with that. This is where he's going to make mistakes. Uh, oh, baby. Not bad. Oh, he wants the grasp. 
so badly. It's okay. I'm cool with just focusing on farm here. Ooh. Interesting. All right, cool. All good. That is some wild and crazy damage on him, though. So let's go drop a ward. Hopefully Lee's not here. Three minutes, 30 seconds. All right, I got W now, so we're good. He tries to fight us. Oh, actually, Jesus. Jesus, God. That is some crazy damage. Um, I may rush a pair of ninja tabbies against this guy. Just so I can tank all that damage he's throwing at me. Okay, we're healing up here. I think level 6 is going to be really good. There it is. Saw that one coming. Holy fuck. <laughs> oh my god. What is... Sh the new Shen is crazy. God damn. Alright, he could easily flash kill us. So let's just... We're just going to chill. Leeson's not topside. It's all good, boys. It's all good. He's doing a really good job at landing that. <clears throat> just keep playing it safe. We'll kill him later. Okay. He's 12 CS ahead. Okay. I just got to respect the fact that he can jump on us whenever he wants because he's got a massive shield and the damage to back it up. He's being a little overly aggressive, though, so I would imagine he's going to make a mistake pretty soon here. Like, he's greeting real hard. I see what he's trying to do, though. He's trying to get the, uh, he's trying to taunt me and then get out of tower range at the same time, which is pretty smart. There we go. Oh, my jungler's coming right now. Should be a free kill. There we go. You got that, you got that. Uh, he should live. He should live. Yeah, all right, good try, good try. I'll take that, though. I'll take Shen's flash all day long. Beautiful, dude. Good job. All right, so I say we shove this out. Maybe actually, you know what? No, this is a kill. He's got no flash. If he tries to fight me, he dies. We have the advantage now because this is why you take ignite. Lane dominance, boys. Yeah, there's the sin. Saw that one coming. Okay. We could take him out. We could take him. Boom, boom. Grab the double. Come on, buddy. All right, that's fine. We could dive. Oh, holy shit. Dude, how did that proc? He's, I would be so furious if I were him. Wow. I don't know. I That should not have proc. The fact that my Q went, that's weird. All right, that's fine. Now watch what I do here. Um... Not getting health potions, though, is really stupid. So, you know what? We're going to not do that. We're not going to finish the Ninja Tabby, even though I really want to. Um, You know what? Actually, you know what? Check this out. Because the wave is going to slow push into me, let's just wait for the 50 gold, wait for one health potion, and we'll be good. I like this recall a lot here. And the reason why I'm rushing Black Cleaver is it's Shen. He's rushing a... Uh, I don't know what Shen builds. Probably... Sunfire Cape or something stupid? I, I have no idea what he's going to build. What does Chain Vest build into? Uh, Gargoyle would be really good for him to rush. Actually, really good. He, he's probably going to go Sunfire, though. Okay, but that's good. You know, we slow played. We're 2-0 now. We're a little... Actually, we're really far behind on CS, but he's not CSing very well either, so... It's a nice, uh, balanced game. I think he still has Flash. He definitely used TP. Damn, though. Isn't that crazy how much damage he does? It is the craziest thing. I kind of hope he tries to fight me here. We're very, very strong now. Okay. Let him push. Let him push. All good. All good in the neighborhood, dude. So I'm going to work on these backline minions. Okay. Boom, boom. Now, Shen, here's the beautiful part about going against Shen. As soon as Shen leaves lane, now he's got no teleport. Okay. Now he's got no teleport. He can't get back to lane. All he can do is, is help out my team, or his team. 
but that means he's gonna lose his tower so that's what we're banking on this game yep Shenmin just like I said start cracking away at this tower we want to end this lane as fast as possible Jesus Christ this fucking there's five people mid what the hell he's got to go mid no you guys gotta hold that all right I'm gonna shove this hopefully they don't take the mid tower it's really early I don't think they can it's a little too early to be honest I really want him to use this thingy. Maybe we can pick up a kill here. Shen no ult. This is the time where you want to roam. This is triple kill all day. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. Should be free kills. All right, I'm just going to get out here. Okay, I'll take that. That really, really sucks. Damn, I cannot believe they, they sent five people mid. What the hell? Flex QOP. Okay. We're going to grab this, this. Back to top lane. I won't be able to kill Shen still until I get Black Cleaver. He's too tanky. I really hope Twitch doesn't do that shit again. Jesus Christ. Bot lane's already gone. This is going to be a really tough game to win. Very, very, very tough game. All right. I still believe, though. Two towers at 10 minutes for Platinum Elo. Crazy. All right. Let's go grab Scuttle Crab. I'm going to go mid, maybe look for a, uh, a play of some kind. Um, Shen has ult, though. That's the thing. I kind of want to avoid. I want to avoid, like, team fighting, you know? Just keep, keep uh, pressuring top lane. I already know what these guys want to fight. They want to try and make plays, etc., etc. Go for the fights, boys. Yeah, dude, we got to go mid. Mid, mid is too free. It's so free. Okay, yeah. He, like I said, he's going. Uh, he's going Sunfire Cape. That's a kill. That's a kill all day. Here we go. Here we go. Love it. Love it. He's mad. Now we run. Pop the health potion. Nothing he can do. That's what it's all about, boys. Okay, so now that he has no, um, he's got no ult, he's got horrible pushing power, we're going to roam mid and take that tower. This is the freest tower. I can dive pretty much anyone. Yeah, watch this. This is when you roam. Galio's going to go nine nights. Two seconds. Take the tower. Okay. Just going to chill out. Back out. Now we're going to go back to top lane. Oh, you know what? Let's fight. Let's fight. Oh, yeah. This is a one fight all day. Ooh. Beautiful. Look at that. That worked out real nice. Careful, boys. Get him. Got him. Beautiful. Oh shit, that sucks. Nice soul. Nice soul. I actually like that ult a lot. We're gonna kill Galio too. <laughs> Alright. Um, I say we go top, we shove it, and we recall. I got it. Nice plays, team. Nice plays. We're 6 and 0 already. God damn. Game's looking real good. But I don't know if you guys can tell, but like, you know, because I have all this movement speed and stuff, I'm able to keep up with their team. I'm pretty much able to make any decision, any play that I want because of the tenacity that I'm stacking, everything that I'm doing. How much tenacity do I have? 20%. Jesus. 
It's like you have a you have a free pair of Merc Treads without having to... You pretty much never have to build Merc Treads. All right, we're going to go back. Black Cleaver. Now what we're going to do is, I think, Yomu's Ghost Blade. I really want that movement speed. Okay. Uh, yeah. On top. This is a good situation to be in. Our team is... is uh, I don't want to say far ahead, but we're... We got a nice lead. Nice little lead. I say Force Dragon. Top no TP. We're going to save our Q this whole time, though. Shen's probably going to look to make some plays. Or we can just kill him. I got tenacity. I have red buff. You can't beat me in a fight. He should be dead here. Okay. Should be dead. I got Q. Three, two, one. Wait. Okay, I was about to say, what? <laughs> He's so tanky. But not tanky enough. Beautiful. And now this is where we take top tower. Yeah, see, I'm pretty sure the game is over. See, all we did was we slow played against the Shen. We made sure we didn't die. Rushed the Ninja Tabbies into the, um, the Black Cleaver to shred his armor. Easy win. I'm telling you guys, patience pays off. And then now we're so, like, it's so difficult to kill us because of our... I want to show you something real quick. So 68% tenacity when we press W. And on top of that, all the movement speed. So we're actually really slippery and hard to get a hold of. And we can we can literally one-shot anyone on their team, you know? This is the, the best way to play Garen for Season 8. I'm going to call it right now. I'm probably going to use this to climb as soon as the... Uh, as long as there's no, like, major nerfs or anything. Oh, yeah. No greed, boys. No greed. Nothing greedy. Oh, this is an interesting play. I, I hate this play just because they're so low, but we got a lot of pressure, so it's okay. Let me tank it. Let me tank. Okay. Oh, he almost stole it. Cool. Excellent. Oh. I got it. Thank you very much. This is this is an interesting game, boys. This is really interesting. Um, I guess I'll clear this out. It's okay, you can. It's all good, dude. So we got the Yomus. Now let's look real quick. A little bit of AP, a little bit of AP. Uh, I don't really... I, I honestly think at this point, we're just so ahead. We should really just look to grab an Infinity Edge. I want to just nuke every single person on their team. I'm so fed. Okay, Echo's killing it. Five and one. Very nice. All right. Now, the play I want my team to make is to all, for all of them to be top. I'm in a situation where I can 1v1 everyone. So, I have Rift Herald. I can do a lot with it by myself. My team can put some pretty nice pressure up in the top lane. Let's drop a control word here. You know what's weird? I'm surprised those don't cancel each other out. I would I would kind of assume that's what that's what would happen. Alright, remember Shen could be down here whenever he wants to, so we have to respect that. Two bot, that should be a fight. Should be a really easy fight. Alright. Okay. Vigar can't do anything to me, so. Four. All right, let's roam and try and get a pick. Try and make some kind of play here. Ezreal might might stop by here. That's why I'm, I'm going to sit here. Oh, actually. All right, this guy's so dead, dude. He's so dead. He's way too overextended. He has flash, but I'm way too fast, dude. All right, I think that was worth it because of the play that's happening top lane. Normally, I would just let him go and just keep pushing. But you got to remember, you see what's happening up here. I just want to be able to make a play right now. Summon the Rift Herald. Maybe take a tower or two. 
I'm gonna save it. But this is good. This equals a tower. 100%. Okay. 100% a tower. Um, Rift Herald's almost gone. We may want a five, man, with Rift Herald. Yeah, let's go group with our team, man. We're so fed. All right, let's grab a BF Soren and another Control Ward. We have uh, probably like a minute or two left. Yeah, this is good. This is a solid game, man. I love, I love games like this. <laughs> Especially when you don't die. I'm about to blow shit up. What does he got? Lich Bane, Morello. He's got no. He's got no tier twos. He really needs um, Zork boots. That's cool. All top. All top. Teemo, we need you up here. We need you up here, sir. All right, we're gonna shove this wave, and then we're gonna. Uh, fuck. I think I have time. Always shove the wave first. All right, here we go. Let's do it. Let's go for in him. If anyone comes, we're gonna immediately dive them. Holy echo. Jesus. Okay, and I'm gonna proxy this wave. Always proxy wave like that. Yeah, that, it might be an in hit. it might be. Echo does so much damage, dude. Yeah, he doesn't do any damage to me. We're good. Mm, I have no flash, so I can't make any plays. Mm. That's so annoying. Be careful here. Echo! A right, little too ham. Little too, I might die. Three, two, one. Alright, that is so unfortunate that he's alive. I tried, I tried my hardest. That was, we committed a little too hard there. Lee Sin should have died for sure. How the, how the hell did he survive that? Through Ignite and ult. Okay, we got in him. New plan, me split, bot. Y'all take Baron. Let's grab some crit. All right. Yeah, that's how you throw games, boys. Don't do stuff like that. It looks, it looks juicy, but <laughs> don't do it. All right, let's get it. Let's get to bot lane here. All right. Um, dragons up. Team definitely should just go take Baron. Oh no, damn. Let's get to bot lane quick. He might be dead. Wow, he's so lucky. So, like, the reason why you want to force Baron plays in this situation is whenever you have an inhibitor down on the enemy team, that is so much pressure that they have to deal with. So, what's going to happen if if my, or I'm sorry, if, if these guys decide to come and try and contest Baron, well, guess what? Bye-bye to your base. And if they steal Baron, you know, that sucks, but at least we got some of your base to end the game. So... The reason why I'm down here not with Baron is because I want to draw their attention down here. If I die, it's really not the end of the world. I'm actually going to run. Baron is secured. Let's try and survive. I thought I could sidestep that. Okay. Trying to kill him. Cool. All right. I'll take one for one. Cool. That's good. They, uh, they, <laughs> I mean, it sucks that I died, but you know what? Secured Baron on four people. Sometimes you got to make plays like that. Okay, so what we're going to do now is all bot. We really could just five-man bot. Okay. Ugh. God damn. Oh, I got freaking shit on by uh, his ultimate. I think I actually would have lived if he didn't ult me. I don't want to build any MR, though. I will, actually. I'll, who am I kidding? We'll grab a Maw for Vigar. Their whole team pretty much has magic damage, so... Grab a Maw. That dragon. Cool. 
everyone meet down bot. But I'm going to be uh, pressuring another lane. Probably top lane. Oh, I have no Baron buff. Never mind. Run, buddy, run. That is so gross. Speaking of gross. Yep. Where are you going? Die. You see how fast I am, boys? Damn. Too bad. What a damn shame. Respect him. Respect him. God, I'm so dead. Alright. So after we take this... We're going to look to take uh, bot tower. After we shove wave, of course. We should always shove wave. Okay. Then we run to bot lane. Yeah. What Teemo's doing is no good. We'll never waste time trying to fight. Okay. Let's take tower, boys. Very good. And we're just going to keep going. I mean, like, look. You see all this pressure? Look at that. There's no way in hell they could ever defend this. No way in hell. There we go. Bait out the Vigar ult. Dodge everything. Okay. They got a little too much movement speed there. It's all good. God damn it. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> he just pressed ult on my face. What a dick. Alright, that should be the end of the game right there. <laughs> he literally... He just pressed ult on, my, on me from like half HP. Go Twitch. Go Twitch. Or Teemo. Okay, so that was actually really stupid. I should not have died there. We should have secured that inhibitor. It's all good though. Okay, at least I have some magic for just now to tank that. Probably gonna grab an elixir here. Okay, we can do that again. Super tanky team, man. Between these three? Crazy. 68% tenacity. Gross. Alright, bot lane. It's always around this time when games start being thrown you just get like so overconfident you're like yeah there's no way these guys ever come back but they always always do especially someone like Vigar man his damage is obscene okay they have to deal with mid top is gonna push into us unfortunately Lucky, lucky, lucky. Wasted my... Get in there, Sedge. Get in there. Sedge? 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 Yeah, Sedge is having it. Jesus. Alright, we're good. We're good. I'm just gonna secure this, huh? I think that's the move. The team's doing a good job in that fight. Beautiful. Let's move on to the uh, to this inhibitor. Check out the wave real quick. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna try and end the game. Could probably end it right now. <laughs> Holy hell! It's like one hit. It's one hit. Triple inhib. Yeah, it's open base. Baron's up in a minute and thirty. I say we reset here. Yeah, we could just wait the minute 30. I mean, realistically, we could just go in there and force the end, but I like to close out my games nice and slow and not force anything. Jesus. This is definitely forcing stuff. Holy shit. Hold on. 
Let's see if I can pick someone off here, maybe. No! Okay, cool. Got one. Oh, we gotta clear this. We got two wards in here. Let's go shove top. Baron in 30 seconds. Okay. I'm just gonna shove one more wave here. I'm, I'm safe. They have no Ezreal. I see all of their whole team is mid. Yeah, no point. We're good. They have to stop it. All right, let's go. Baron, then end. 30-minute game. This, uh, If I didn't die those at least two times, uh, probably could have ended five minutes earlier, I'd say. All right, let's do it, boys. Hopefully, Echo doesn't die. Oh! Ah, uh, poor guy. Okay, now we end. So, as a top laner, what you're going to want to do about 90% of the time is be in a different lane. You want to get all the creeps shoved into their lane. So, I'm going to go top. Just slow push. There's Baron Creeps. This guy can't do anything. I'm just going to shove the creeps. You know what? I might actually just go for the end here. That's frustrating. It's all good. That's the end of the game. Baron Creeps, baby. GG. Let the free low begin. Oh, God. No. <laughs> no. I'm not falling for that trap. God damn. Not bad at all, boys. God damn. All right. Let's, uh, let's check out the stats real quick. So, guys, that was a pretty solid game. That's about an average game, I'd say. I mean, you can see, you know, we have so much utility, so much movement speed. We did a pretty good job at farming. Even though we were 100 fucking 100 farmed down, 93 farmed to be exact, we still had 15.2k gold, most, most gold by far in the entire game. We were super fed. Had a solid build to itemize against the jungler and the, uh, the Shen, Ninja Tabai Rush, right into the Black Cleaver. Perfect build. Let's see how much damage we did. And we are we were playing in like low platinum. I'd say probably like mid platinum since our MMR is pretty high. I think our our MMR for flex is probably like plat two right now, plat three. So pretty damn good. Let's check out the damage real quick. Oh, I didn't really do that much damage. Twitch did a ton, but I did 22k. Actually, you know what? I did the second most in the entire game. Twitch is OP. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure you leave a like. Leave a comment down below if you guys have any co questions, comments, or concerns, or anything like that. And if you guys are not already subscribed to the channel, slap that sub button. I'll be seeing you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.